If your Google business profile has been suspended, you must have received an email that looks just like this one and immediately after reading it, went to Google to search for your listing but couldn't find any trace of it. Sure enough, it has vanished and you're now really worried about how this is going to affect your business. Stop worrying because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your suspended listing and get it back on Google as fast as possible in just two steps. There are many reasons why your listing has been suspended, but in most cases, it is likely because it doesn't comply with Google's guidelines. This is why in the email you have received, you are asked to first check if you are correctly representing your business on Google before doing anything else. This is an extremely important step. Failing to do so will result in your listing reinstatement request being turned down and for your listing to be suspended for longer. Unfortunately, Google won't tell you what the compliance issues with your listing might be and going through the guidelines to figure out where you've gone wrong can be like hunting for a needle in a haystack. To help you speed up your listing recovery, I'm going to go through an extensive list of the most common elements business owners get wrong and how you can fix them before submitting your reinstatement request. You've added keywords to your business name. Your business name should reflect your business real world name. Adding keywords to it such as the services you provide or your location like in this example goes against the guidelines. If you've added keywords to your name that shouldn't be there, remove them before asking for reinstatement. You're showing an address on your listing, but you are a service area business. If you visit customers at their home, you will be considered as a service area business and shouldn't display a physical address on your listing. Here is a typical example of an electrician who is clearly using his home address. If you are a service area business and are showing an address on your listing, remove it and add service areas instead before asking for reinstatement. You've exaggerated the areas you cover. Many service area businesses tend to exaggerate the boundaries in which they operate on Google Maps by adding areas they don't really cover. I have seen listings where the whole of the United States was added as a service area. Remember, you're a local business, so how can you serve customers locally in an entire country. The boundaries of the areas you serve should not extend farther than about two hours of driving time from where your business is based. If they do, just remove them. You have claimed several profiles for the same business. This is a classic issue among service area businesses who illegitimately create multiple listings across a large metropolitan area so they can rank for multiple zip codes. If this is what you've done, the best advice here is to remove the illegitimate profiles from your account, then come clean to Google and ask them to remove those listings from Google Maps. I've put a link in the description below explaining how to do that. There are multiple profiles at the same address. The presence of multiple profiles located at the same address can trigger automatic suspensions too, especially if the businesses located there share similar activities. For example, several law firms work in the same building. This is quite common and can be solved by providing proof to Google that your business is legitimate and located at that address. I'll cover this aspect in step two. You are using business mailboxes. Using PO boxes or UPS store addresses as your business location on your listing is not accepted. Unless you use a legitimate address, your business will not be reinstated, so don't even bother asking, unless you got one. You are using a virtual office as your business address. Just like business mailboxes, virtual offices are not eligible to claim a business profile. Once again, unless you have a legitimate address, don't bother asking for reinstatement, it will be declined. You are using a co-working space as a business address. This is a tricky one. Although businesses using co-working spaces are technically allowed to claim a listing, they are a high-risk option and will very often trigger a suspension, even if they are legitimate. If you fall into this scenario, be prepared to provide solid and tangible proof that your business is indeed located where you claim it is. For example, pictures of an allocated and permanent space with your logo 
prominently displayed will help. You'll also need to ensure you or a member of your staff is able to deal with customers face-to-face -face at the co-working location during your stated hours. It's very difficult to justify a co-working space is your genuine location and even then your listing may still be suspended. My advice here? Get your own office. You've changed your address. If you've moved your business to another location, updating your profile with the new address may cause your listing to be suspended. Although this shouldn't happen, it sometimes does. Get your paperwork ready to justify the old address and the new address before submitting a reinstatement request. You don't make in-person contact with customers. If you don't run a brick and mortar business where customers can come to you or visit customers at their homes, you will not be considered as a local business and are not eligible to claim a profile. Don't ask for the listing to be reinstated. It will be a waste of your time. Your business falls into a high-risk category. Certain businesses are notorious for trying to game the system in order to rank higher on Google or for more locations. Lawyers, electricians, garage door repair and locksmiths, for example, will fall into the high-risk categories and will be scrutinized by Google a lot more than others. Making multiple edits on such profiles at once can trigger a suspension. The solution? Refrain from making too many edits in one go. If your listing has been suspended, you'll need to go through the reinstatement process. You are using the wrong website link. Make sure the website link set up on your profile takes users to a page on your website and doesn't redirect users to either another website or a social media page. If it does, change it. If you don't have a website, leave it empty. You're open 24 seven, but really you're not. If your business is not open 24-7, don't show on your listing that it is. Google will cross-reference information it can find about your business elsewhere on the web and even, in some cases, call your number to verify if you are really open when you claim you are. At best, Google will automatically change your hours. At worst, they'll suspend your profile. Don't take the risk. Change your hours. A user with a suspended account has access to your profile. You may have allowed other users or marketing agencies to access your listing in the past so they could help you optimize or manage your profile. Unfortunately, in some cases, some of these users won't play by the rules and use bad practices resulting in their own Google account being suspended. The suspension of their own account will have a ripple effect on your listing, which will be suspended by association. The solution? Make sure whoever has access to your listing Thing is trustworthy. To quickly verify who has access to your profile, log into your account. From the in search interface, click on the three dots here. From the pop up window, click on the business profile settings, then click on managers. Remove anyone you think shouldn't have access to your account. This brings me to the end of the list. Hopefully, you have managed to identify and fix one or more elements. You may also have gone through it and found nothing wrong and wonder why your profile was suspended in the first place. Believe it or not, sometimes your listing will be wrongly flagged by Google and suspended even though you did nothing wrong. In any case, I would still recommend you go through the guidelines in detail to be 100% certain you haven't forgotten anything, after which you can move on to step two. If you feel your profile is now compliant, it's time to submit it to be reviewed by a member of the Google business team as per instructed in the email you have received. Clicking on the review link will take you to what is called a reinstatement request form. If you haven't received an email or somehow lost it, you can find the link to the reinstatement form in the description below. Before you start filing in the form, I recommend you have the following information and documents handy. First, your business profile ID. To retrieve your business ID, log into the Google account associated with your business. Search for My Business and click on View Profile. Click on the three dots right here and from the drop down, select the business profile settings. From the pop up window, click on Advanced Settings. You should see your business ID right there. Click on the Copy ID button and store it somewhere. Google also requires you to provide a copy of one of these documents. 
an official business registration document or a business license or tax certificate. They will also want a copy of a utility bill displaying the same business name and address as your registration or license. You can use any of these phone, gas, water, sewage, trash, recycling, TV or internet. The following items are not required, but I would advise you to add them to your reinstatement request to reinforce your case. If you operate from a brick and mortar location, hopefully you have a permanent signage outside. Take pictures of it. If your business is registered on the Better Business Bureau website or an official government website where your business is listed, grab the link that points to it. Once you have gathered all this information, you are ready to start filling in the form. If you haven't already submitted a reinstatement request, answer no to the first question. The other questions are pretty straightforward. Once you've answered them all, it will trigger the reinstatement request form itself. Enter your name and add the email address you use to manage your business profile. Depending on your business type, add the name of the business and the address or service areas in which you operate. In the next field, add your business ID, which you've already retrieved, followed by your phone number. The next field is your chance to explain why you believe your listing should be reinstated. Don't leave this blank. Explain why you think it happened and list all the corrections you have implemented based on what we covered in step one. If you have no idea why, write that too. This is also where I recommend you include the link to the Better Business Bureau website or the official government website your business is listed. Finally, upload the documents Google requires, a copy of the official business registration and a copy of a utility bill. You're not restricted to just two documents, so I would always recommend you provide further proof if you can, such as photos of your outside signage, as I mentioned before. To do this, bundle all your document in a zip file and add it to your request. Once you are done, click on Submit. That's it. Once you've clicked on the Submit button, you should receive a confirmation email at the address you specified on your form that your request has been received. All you need to do is wait for your case to be handled you'll have to show some patience. I went through this very process with a client of mine about a month prior to making this video. It took 12 days for his listing to be reinstated after the form was sent. Once the listing was reinstated, it took another five days for all the rankings to fully recover, along with all these Google reviews. You can check the progress of your request by going to the Google Business Profile Community Support. Log in with the email address associated with your account, then click on the Help Center. The status of your case should be displayed on the page. Whatever you do, don't submit another review. If you feel this is taking too long, it will slow things down further. Do not attempt to create another business profile. It won't work. That's it for today. Best of luck and until next time, happy marketing.